Hello and welcome you watching The Burning Question with me, Shah Vincent. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a point in time that uh, particularly Gupkar parties would have always argued that what exactly is the need of AFSPA? And if you're wondering what exactly is AFSPA, it had given some special powers to the armed forces, particularly to carry out uh, searches and even, if necessary, arrest or even shoot at. Now, that was essentially used for mostly disturbed areas. Now, over the last few years, what has essentially happened is that the Modi government has taken this decision of removing AFSPA from these disturbed areas, particularly in the northeast. 70% has already been taken away. But the big news essentially now coming in with that indication from the Home Minister. Amit Shah says that with changing scenario on the ground, the government is basically mulling the option of revoking AFSPA from Kashmir. Now, if that really happens, it puts the Gupkar party in a catch-22 situation. And if you're wondering why, the reason being that if at all they welcome this entire move by the government of revoking AFSPA, it is also an admission of the Gupkar parties that yes, things have changed. Hence, we are saying, is it Naya Kashmir of Naya Bharat? That's exactly what the position looks like. And the Kupkar parties are saying that this is yet another Jumla. Is that the case? First, let's take a look at the headlines and then we put out this report. Of what does this essentially mean for Jammu and Kashmir? Home Minister Amit Shah hints at revoking of SPA says the center trusted Jammu and Kashmir police to handle law and order situation. No relief for Ahmadi Party Suprema as Kejriwal's bail application gets rejected in Delhi High Court. Big setback for Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav opts out of uh, poll race. Election Commission of India issues Shokos notice to Supriya Shrinet for her sexist slur on Kangana Radhawan. Congress sitting parliamentarian Pratibha Singh bows out, uh, exits uh, Monday days after Kangana enters the battlefield. After Rekha Patra, Krishna Nagar candidate Amrita Roy gets Prime Minister's call. Prime Minister tells her all black money sieged by enforcement directed will come back to the poor of Bingo. So why exactly does the Gupkar parties really look so very nervous at this point in time? The reason why we are saying is this, but the question when it was posed to Omar Abdullah, he says that, look here, I've been saying this for years, that AFSPA should be revoked. And if the government really believes that the situation has changed, they should be doing it immediately. Now, that's the position that Omar Abdullah has taken. But no word really on whether at all things have really changed in Jammu and Kashmir. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a point in time when you would have opened any news channel and you would have seen images of stone pelting taking place in Kashmir. Now, do you remember when was the last that you saw that one picture of uh, stone pelting really taking place in downtown Srinagar? That's not happening. That's the reason why we're calling it Naya Kashmir of Naya Bharat. Take a look at this report. <laughs> Five years after, the Union Home Minister announced the abrogation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. The centre is now likely to take yet another major decision for Jammu and Kashmir.
Union Home Minister Amit Shah in an interview to a publication in JNK said that the central government will consider revoking the Armed Forces Special Powers Act in the valley. Amit Shah also said that the government has plans to pull back troops from the Union territory and leave law and order to the Jammu and Kashmir police alone. जम्मू कश्मीर को जखम देने का काम कांग्रेस ने किया जब आर्टिकल 370 और 35 ए को लागू किया नक्सल नक्सलवाद बड़ा अलगाववाद बड़ा और यहां पर 45000 से ज्यादा लोगों की मृत्यु हुई अनुच्छेद 370 35 ए को हटाकर नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने जम्मू कश्मीर में विकास के रास्तों को खोला है आर्म फोर्सेस हैं या सुरक्षा बल हैं उनको सभी को तभी हटाया जाना संभव था जबकि हालात सुधर जाएं आज कश्मीर में स्थितियां बदली हैं और पत्थरबाजी अलगाववाद आतंकवाद भ्रष्टाचार इन सभी पर लगाम लगी है तो स्वाभाविक बात है कि भारत सरकार सोचती है 5 इयर्स ऑन नॉर्मलसी इज द न्यू नॉर्मल इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैज सीन अ सी चेंज आफ्टर द रिपील ऑफ आर्टिकल 370 एट द हार्ट ऑफ इट्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन lay a rigorous crackdown on terror funding kashmir also witnessed a sweeping alteration of its socio economic landscape the echoes of hartals and band calls have faded into history afspa empowers armed forces personnel operating in disturbed areas with powers to search arrest and to open fire deemed it necessary for the maintenance of public order an area or district is notified as disturbed under the afspa to facilitate the operations of the armed forces if removed this will be a big step forward for kashmir however for the opposition it's a catch 22 situation jahan tak afspa ko hatane ki baat hai bismillah karke aaj hi shuru kariye jab kehte hain ki halat bilkul normal hain jab kehte hain jab kehte hain ki militancy khatam ho chuki hai जब कहते हैं कि अब अलायदगी पसंद सोच रही नहीं और जम्मू कश्मीर के हालात इससे ज्यादा बेहतर कभी थे नहीं तो इंतजार किस चीज का पहले ही कर देना था गवर्नमेंट खुद कह रही है कि सब कुछ ठीक है तो जब सब कुछ ठीक है तो फिर सोचना क्या है हटा दो नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस मानती है कि जो पीस है वो प्रिवेल हुई है पीस गवर्नमेंट के नजर में है हम अपने हिसाब से देख रहे हैं कि वो जिस तरह लोगों को पीस लगता है वो है नहीं लेकिन अगर वो समझते हैं कि इसको हटाया जाना चाहिए तो एक गवर्नमेंट के लोगों के हित की बात है सर हटा देना चाहिए डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली व्हाट मिस्टर अमित शाह इज सेइंग इट्स नॉट अ सीरियस थिंग एंड जस्ट ही थिंक्स बाय मेकिंग सच स्टेटमेंट्स ही कैन डिसीव द पीपल ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ही कैन वुडविंग द पीपल ऑफ जम्मू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एट द टाइम ऑफ इलेक्शंस दैट इज व्हाट आई पॉइंट आउट Ms. Amisha is not sincere. Home Minister, uh, this uh, uh, Union government headed by Mr. Modi is not sincere, honest to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir's historic journey has ushered in a new chapter in the valley's narrative, and if Afspa is removed, it will only act as a catalyst to the development in the valley. Bureau report, Republic TV. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight a departure from what we generally do. I would essentially take you through what we witnessed. There are at least three gentlemen on this broadcast who have actually witnessed Kashmir up front. Former Jammu and Kashmir DGP SP Vedh, Colonel Abhinav Navneet, who has been. there for a very long time and uh, sardar rp singh of the bjp and you'll be surprised to know this that sardar rp singh himself for a, over a long period of time has been in kashmir so much so that he's had a direct interface with uh, several organizations uh, who created havoc in shrinagar first i want to take this to you sardar rp singh the time back in 1992 that many of us those who were from the northeast had actually witnessed it up front also the situation that was there in kashmir there wouldn't be a single moment that you wouldn't have heard gunshots blasts taking place people afraid of even stepping out of their home 
that was the situation back then. I want to start with your story where you found it even difficult to reach uh, Lal Chowk. 1992, 1992, I was sent by my... I used to work for a newspaper. Uh, that paper was banned, the uh, Indian Express was banned, and our correspondents were uh, told, they were told, remove your correspondent from here, George uh, jo uh, Joseph, and his wife, Asha Kosa, used to work some other uh, paper. They both were, uh, to, uh, uh, they were told they should be removed from the uh, city. I went there, I uh, held a negotiation with all these set of people at that time, and I, I succeeded, succeeded in negotiating, and our people stayed there, George Joseph and Asha Kosa both but stayed there. The but like, the situation was like, it was like war zone. War zone. It used to be like at some, night, it used to be like war some happening war happening between war. Pakistan and India or some war happening between two countries. Uh, All night, it will be uh, shot, rifle shots or gunshots. All night day, through. And then in day, there will be spin drop sudden. Not a person on road, not a tourist on road, nothing. There just used to be one hotel which used to be Adus, which used to be open and which used to be controlled by the uh, militants only. And that's the situation was. And if you have to even meet someone, you have to uh, make a phone. Those times there was no mobile phone. But if you have to make a phone call, everything was tracked by militants. I remember the moment I landed, and since I had to check, I checked in Adus, I went to, I had no other work because the meeting has to, has to be organized, so I went to Dal Lake. In Dal, in Shikara, when I was in the Shikara, other Shikara passed by me, the other, other guys told, the, my Shikara guy, Sadar Ji, Delhi se hai hai, jara inki khatir daza karna. I was shocked that message has already passed through. I mean, I just landed, just came directly to Dal Lake because there was no other option to, to spend time, and this was a message. So this is the grip of the militancy in the valley. This was the grip of the people, people who were uh, leading the complete right. militancy in the valley. And right. second occasion, give me another second. Second occasion was 2008 and 11 when hoisted national flag at Lal Chowk, uh, and specifically 2011 when this very Mr. Farooq Abdullah's son, Mr. Uh, was Omar Abdullah, has banned us from hoisting national flag and has made some seven rings around Lal Chong uh, uh, so that we can hoist the national flag. And after we hoisted the national flag, I was dragged by my hair in Munshi Rahabak police station, was beaten for four hours by, uh, by police. My colleagues were beaten by for four hours. There's a lady colleague right. who was beaten for four hours. We were thrashed like animals for hoisting national flag in this valley. Absolutely. Today, it's the other way around. Sadar R.P. Singh, I'll take a quick question with Dr. S.P. Aved because he's you know, spent a considerable amount of time there. And Dr. S.P. Aved, the time that you were there and I had first met you, you know, the situation was very, very different. Today, you have uh, several of the political parties, particularly the Gupkar parties, finding themselves in a catch-22 situation because I'll tell you, that if at all they say that, yes, it's a good decision that the government has made by revoking AFSPA, it's also an indication of the fact that, or an acceptance that things have actually changed on the ground, Dr. S.P. Ved. And, and, you know, as the Jammu and Kashmir DGP, you would be in a much better position to tell our viewers why revoking AFSPA means a lot for the ordinary Kashmiris. Good evening, Sharon. Uh, and my colleague is uh, on the panel uh, and your viewers. Uh, see, uh, there is uh, absolutely no comparison of situation uh, in 1990s and today uh, after the removal of uh, Article 370. Uh, what Mr. R.P. Singh was telling, uh, we have seen that worst kind of situation in, uh, in one day, uh, 20, uh, 30 incidents of cross-firing. And uh, look at the situation today. The numbers of terrorists have come down so down so drastically. The, you can um, even in two figures you can't count them. So uh, uh, you take any parameter the the uh, uh, those days of separatist politics which was getting appeased by uh, local parties uh, are gone. And, uh, band calls, uh, civil curfew, hartals, colleges, schools, educational institutions closed. Uh, pelting everywhere, grenade firing, um, uh, that in that phase has gone. But uh, this move of the government uh, is, is well, welcome. In fact, people of the state will be very, very happy uh, if faced manner, the APSA is uh, removed with, as Honorable Home Minister 
uh, announced. In fact, Modi government, whatever uh, it has said, has uh, actually fulfilled its promise. Whether it is uh, triple talaq, uh, removal of Article 370, Ram Mandir, and uh, people have no reason to doubt this. And uh, I'm sure uh, when Honorable Home Minister has made a, okay. uh, this announcement, it, it will be done in a phased manner. But my uh, caution would be that uh, uh, please do it very uh, carefully, uh, starting with uh, those areas of Jammu region, which are comparatively peaceful, like uh, District Katua, uh, Samba, um, Jammu, Udumpur, and slowly as closely monitor the situation and progressively uh, move towards other districts. And uh, we must remember that Pakistan, our neighbor, uh, maybe down today, but it's, there's no change in its intentions. And uh, uh, tomorrow, if it again has all the uh, resources, right. it will be able to, uh, it has been uh, last 75 years, uh, it has been uh, trying its best to annex Jammu and Kashmir, which is a failed miserably year after uh, inter complete integration of JNK. You know, Dr. Ben. Uh, India. Yeah. Dr. Veth, from my personal experience of covering Kashmir, I would say that, you know, there was a cottage industry that was actually running. Few did not want terrorism to be really out of the window, simply because that industry has to really operate. I'm not sure if uh, Emma Dayaz is uh, still with us, but uh, till the time we bring back uh, the PDP spokesperson also. Colonel Navneet, let me take this question with you. As uh, Dr. Vaid has been pointing out, it has, to, it has to be done in a cautious manner. Now, for, for the fact... For, I'm, just get, I'm just getting some echo. We'll try and... We'll try and connect with uh, the PDP guest also. But Colonel Navneet, let me just come to you first on this. Colonel Navneet, uh, the reason why the armed forces would have been a little sceptical about this move because they would still say that the situation in some parts will have to be monitored very closely. And we'll have to, you will have to be you know, cautious before you take that big step right now. Colonel Navneet, from the army perspective, removal of AFSPA, what does this essentially mean? Are we, uh, it's, is it an admission? that yes, things are normal, now you can hand it over to the Jammu and Kashmir police, they can handle it well? Thank you, Shavan. Uh, good evening and Jai Hind to all my senior colleagues here, the panelists. I was there, so I can comment on it. I'll uh, begin with uh, from where the idea of Bharat has started from the Constitution. In the Schedule 7, the union list first entry is the defense of India. And therefore, when we say defense of India, it means the defense of the states, the union territories as well. And it is incumbent, and the government, the parliament, the union government is obligated to ensure the defense of India, and Indian armed forces play a big role in it. Having said that, there is another provision in our constitution which says that there has to be some fundamental rights which are to be given to the citizens. We talk about Article 21, life and personal liberty. We talk about Article 14, which is right of equality. And then we talked about Article 19, which gives six valuable freedoms to the citizens of Bharat. Now, amongst one of them, I would like to point out here, was the freedom to reside and settle in any part of the territory of India, which was not possible prior to the abrogation of 370. I very vividly remember on the on the night of 5th September 2019, and I was there in Udhampur, and we were debating amongst our own army circles uh, that what's going to happen, because uh, this thing was pending such, since such a long time, and no government uh, could take this bold step. And we were all apprehensive. And it was abrogated. It went on very smooth. What I want to say is that with the abrogation of 370, Firstly, I will come to the army point of view, but firstly, what happened, it ushered in a new era of change in the entire JNK. You know, what happened was there were stone peltings before. Where have they gone? People could not move around with our flag. Today, I have, still today, uh, I have heard from my colleagues who are still posted there. Children are roaming around on the streets of uh, places like Baramula and Kupwara with Indian flag in their hands and nobody is stopping them. 
So many socio-economic government schemes have been introduced. The lieutenant governor announced Super 75. There is the Tejaswini scheme, PM Arogya Yojana, Ujwala, Ujala. I can go on and on. This all has ushered in a new era of change. Now, as far as the armed forces are concerned, definitely AFSPA is a security option. It is, no doubt. And uh, when there is a decision which will be taken by the union government, I would say that it has to be uh, nuanced and debated well with the security forces who are in charge there. But definitely the security situation has right. improved. The money laundering has stopped. The terror art obviously okay. keeps shifting from Kashmir. We have seen Colonel it Lamid. shifting to Punch and Rajwari areas. And I'll come to that after you take the opinion of the other colleagues. Am I audible? Right. Colonel Amrit, because you've given you know, a snapshot of what's the current situation, but it seems that it's something very difficult that the political parties aren't being able to digest. And Virendra Singh Sono, I want to ask you this question. As far as the PDP's position on this entire matter, you have had your leader's daughter speaking to Republic TV a short while back saying that, Look, this is a jumla. Hai. For the longest time, your party, along with the National Conference, was asking that remove AFSPA, remove AFSPA. The moment it is done, you say it is political gimmick. So can you actually decide what's your position on AFSPA? कुछ भी नहीं बदला आप चाहते तो इलेक्शन जुमला नहीं आप इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करके बताइए हम तो ये कह रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारा तो शुरू तो ये रोड मैप था और आई फील प्राउड कि मैं मुफ्ती मोहम्मद सईद साहब का वर्क करूँ जिनके रोड मैप को आज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मान रही है जो हमने 20 साल पहले कहा दस साल पहले कहा जब एजेंडा ऑफ लाइन पे बीजेपी के साथ सरकार बनाई हमने तब भी कहा तब बीजेपी ने हमारी बात मानी लेकिन सरकार तो उनकी बात नहीं की तो अगर आज अमृतसर साहब कह रहे हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि इसको इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाना चाहिए चुनावी जुमला नहीं बयानबाजी तक नहीं सब हम तो चाहते हैं वी आर फ्रॉम द वेरी फर्स्ट डे फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग ऑफ अवर पार्टी जब हमारी पार्टी स्टैब्लिश हुई हमारा ये स्टैंड था कि इस चीज को किया जाना चाहिए तो चलिए वीरेंद्र जी आपने सवाल पूछा मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रवक्ता से पूछता हूँ चलिए आपने पूछा वीरेंद्र जी हमने हमने अपना कौन सा वीरेंद्र जी हो गया धन्यवाद सर हमने अपना कौन सा वादा जो पूरा नहीं किया धारा तीन सौ की बात करी थी हमने करी हटाई नहीं हटाई आपके लोग कहते थे धारा तीन हटेगी यहाँ पर तिरंगे को कांदा देने के लिए चार लोग नहीं मिलेंगे आज तो हर घर के अंदर तिरंगा लाया जाता है यहाँ तक कि आपकी जो अध्यक्षा है वो अब मंदिर में जाकर पूजा भी करती हैं अब तो वो मंदिर में जाकर पूजा भी करने लगी अब तो शिव अर्चना भी करने लगी तो दिखता है कि बदल हुआ ना जमीन पर अब वो जब बदल हुआ है तो उस बदल के साथ चलते हुए बाकी जो चीजें करनी है वो भी करेंगे और जो कहा जा रहा है वो होगा हंड्रेड होगा क्योंकि आज वहां पर कैलेंडर नहीं निकलता कि इस दिन बंद होगा इस दिन खुलेगा ये स्कूल चलेगा ये स्कूल बंद होगा आज ये सब नहीं होता आपके अध्यक्षा ने तो पत्थरबाजों को छोट छूट दे दी थी आपकी अध्यक्षा तो बुरहानवानी जी को आपकी अध्यक्षा तो बुरहान लोगो को डराने के लिए ये जो डराकर वोट बैंक की राजनीति करते हैं ये डराकर देश से अलग बताने की बात करते हैं वो खत्म हो गया टाइम 
ये जो आप डराकर वो आप बताते हैं हम ही बताते हैं ये आपकी रोटी उसी पर चलती है आपकी दुकान पर चलती है और इनकी जीरो बनाते थे हम सच कह रहे हैं मैं कहता हूं आप अपनी अच्छी बात आज आप हमारी बात मान तो रहे हैं ना मैं तो कह रहा हूं कि हमारे रोड मैप को आपने सब किया है एक चीज बताइए अच्छी बात है ना जम्मू कश्मीर के मसले के चलिए ये भी कशक तो मत कीजिए जी आप भी सरकार में थे आप भी सरकार एक मिनट वीरेंद्र जी आप भी सरकार में थे आप भी सर आप भी सरकार में थे सरदार आरपी सिंह के पार्टी के साथ तो आप ये क्यों नहीं कहता कि आ, अगर आपके पास उस समय विल पावर था सरकार तो आप कह रही कि देखिए हम हमारे पास हालात भी ठीक हैं और हम करके भी दिखाएंगे आप भी सरकार में थे तब आपने ये क्यों नहीं कहा क्योंकि तब आप जिस समय की बात कर रहे हैं तब तो लोग लालचौक तक नहीं पहुंचते थे डाउन टाउन श्रीनगर नहीं जा पाते थे कोई हमने तो राइट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डे कहा कि इसको रिमूव किया जाना चाहिए हम तो आज तो कहते हैं तभी आप तो वही पार्टी के साथ आप तो वही पार्टी के साथ अलाइंस में थे इसी पर विरोध किया उसका इट इज नॉट स्टेटमेंट फॉर ए वोटिंग हमारा सिर्फ ये कहना है ओके आई जस्ट गेट अ क्विक कमेंट सरदार आरपी सिंह आई एम सॉरी बिकॉज़ अनफॉर्चूनेटली सरदार आरपी जस्ट गिव मी गिव मी गिव मी अ मिनट गिव मी अ मिनट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक सो आई आल्सो हैव निखिल जैन निखिल आई अपॉलोजाइज आई अपॉलोजाइज फॉर नॉट बीइंग एबल टू टेक यू अर्लियर But I'll just take a quick word, and Sardar Arpi Singh, you can then respond to Nikhil Jain also. Nikhil, a quick response. No, no. Sardar Arpi Singh, just give me thirty, thirty seconds. I'll just get a quick word from Nikhil also. He's been waiting for a while. Okay. Nikhil, okay. please. Now please. the fact is this: it is an admission. Let's admit it. It's 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 beyond politics. I would say when it comes to Kashmir, when it comes to Kashmir, something that we are all proud of. We should go beyond politics. We should go beyond. partisan politics right now because if this is a situation in kashmir where you are in a position to withdraw of spa it is something that all political parties should come together and welcome it i'm not being able to hear nikhil check audio check audio check nikhil you need to nikhil you need to unmute yourself nikhil you need to unmute yourself yeah Uh, Shavan is my audio player. I think I've been silent yourself. on the debate for 26 minutes. I want a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. See, the point is when the Congress government in 2000, when the Congress party in 2019 said before the elections that we will remove Aspa, everybody went around calling them anti-nationalists. And now when the BJP does the same, somehow it's a great move for the people of Kashmir. BJP says everything is normal in Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir. Let's believe that. Then why are elections not being held for the past five years? Are we to believe that the people of Kashmir are to live in under the iron fist forever? Then there is no part of uh, there is no Aspa in the Imphal. valley so it is for the bjp it is not afspa imposition or revocation of afspa is not about the security situation in a state or a place it is simply about politics ki jammu and kashmir ko to pura afspa mein rehne dete hain but let's not have afspa yeah, in manipur despite the army that despite no. the army Nikhil, demanding sorry, afspa you, in the it. imphal valley the afspa in manipur is only extended to the hill districts it is not extended in the imphal okay. valley then in your package you showed anurag thakur saying the statement ki 370 was a saza on the people of jammu and kashmir despite the fact that the very same people of jammu and kashmir for 60 years had been wanting and clinging on to this very government no state government no state assembly okay got it no got, got your point got your point i'll just That's get a quick response you you pose the question sardar rp singh i'm really running short of time 30 seconds no very simply the aspa is a is a security issue aap nikhil you're getting it completely wrong aspa is a security issue and trust me nikhil Not for those for who have seen insurgency up close had people been, like us who have actually security. grown up why during peak of insurgency in it means valley. a lot Shavan, it means a lot to see afspa being valley. removed afspa being removed for the locals the means a lot nikhil it's why easy to sit in delhi no to make that comment but trust me trust me trust me to see the kind of bloodshed just be to see the kind no of bloodshed in imphal valley it is why it is there it no is it is it why is, is there something no that no one will forget in imphal valley the one second remove it now one promise to remove for the order nikalna hai sarkar last season 1 crore 80 lakh tourists last season aims in valley and in jammu iit schools flyovers bridges uh, panchayats being uh, given money and also the special trains now going to kashmir and then uh, people uh, there's a right. booking for almost 6 months for the special train so there is a change which has happened in ground Let's admit and it. it has taken some time and elections will be held mark my word elections will be held before september okay. thank this, you very year. much gentlemen for joining us so on the burning question undoubtedly this is a big move that has been made by the government many would say that this ushers in the new era in kashmir Thank you very much for joining us on the burning question on the other side the trending burning question with my colleague Abhishek